Welcome back to Judo Breakdowns, your source for judo commentary on the internet. And what I have for you today is a match from the Grand Slam Tel Aviv 2022 in the women's under 52 category. This is the bronze medal match between in white Odette Griffrida uh, from Italy and in blue Gaffin Primo from Israel. And you can definitely hear the crowd providing a lot of support for their uh, player. They are chanting her name. It's always an uplifting thing to hear as a competitor. And... So, so far, not too much in the way of attacks from either competitor. We did see a bit of a, a, a an attack from Geffen earlier, and then there's a, dr a dry, nice drive from Odette. That, that was more of the drive than it was the, the entry. The entry was a little shallow for my for my liking. I'd like to see it be you know a quarter turn deeper. Would have a much higher chance of success. Um, but that's again once that, you know coach judo commentary right so. It's always easier to say than to do. All right, so just seeing wrist grips here and a Makikome attempt by Geffen. A little bit, uh, that was a little forward, like uh, Geffen's uh, approach angle was, you know, the body was pretty far away from uh, Odette's body. So um, hard to kind of get her around when uh, you're not attached to her, right? So. And, uh, all right, so what we're seeing here is just uh, hmm. a lot of grip fighting, sort of entries, but okay. And the penalty is going to be assessed to Geffen for uh, a false attack there. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, is there any more false attack than anything that I've been seeing? <laughs> really, there. All right. That was pretty good from Odette. But, uh, yeah, once again, a little, a touch shallow. And I think, like, you can go shallow like that. But if anything, you can go shallow and rotate like almost an extreme amount like 270 right so it's just a straight on attack will make it very difficult but if you rotate 180 or something or 270 it w that would make a big difference in turn in terms of getting the rotational power you need to uh to throw somebody right so So, uh, still seeing a lot of mostly grip fighting here, and uh, not a lot in ways of actual attacks. Yeah, penalties, exactly. So now, uh, Geffen's really put herself up against the, the wall there, in terms of being behind on Cheetos. And uh, obviously she must be feeling the pressure of being in front of uh, her home country uh, but you know that's oh <laughs> uh, I like I like to think of that as like a kataguruma but a sort of sacrifice kataguruma in a weird way or reverse kataguruma um, you don't really see that too often
but that, hey, you know, props to Odette for an innovative attack there. I don't know if this is going to be it. No? Okay. I don't know what the basis of that Mate was then. Unless we're going to golden score. Okay. Nice nice entry by Odette. And a decent entry the second time around. And I think uh, Geffen has to really be worried about getting penalized further. Especially if we're into golden score by now. Uh, I wish I could tell you that we are, but I, I feel like we must be. But <laughs> like that, that's probably what that break was there, right? So, and it certainly seems like it's been long enough. So, okay. And all right, finally, a, a, an attack by Geffen there. Not a great one because she was so far away. Like the body was so far away. Yeah, we're 50 seconds in. Yeah, into a golden score. But she needed she needed that just to like kind of keep her out of the uh, penalty territory. Odette's come on real strong on her. There it is. That would be any pawn, regardless. She wins. Odette uh, Grafita, you know, silences the home crowd. You know, congratulations to her on the bronze. The crowd gives uh, Geffen a. An ovation, a very hard fought match between the two players. Uh, very good effort from both. Um, it was definitely like a tight one for sure. Not a lot of big throws or big throw attempts, but uh, you know, all it takes is one, right? So let's have just a quick look at that again from Odette. And what we see is. Just a just an extremely protracted uh, drive, right, F from uh, Odette on the uh, on the throw. So you can see the, uh, the 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 grip isn't particularly close, but uh, it's almost more like it's a I don't know. I, I had to, it's not like a it's not like a soda sort of my gosh, but. Anyways, it's a Makikomi, regardless. And uh, it was enough, certainly, for the Ippon. Would have been an Ippon in, regu in regulation time. But, uh, yeah, golden score definitely counts. Doesn't matter, right? So, uh, congratulations to Odette for winning the bronze. And uh, those are my thoughts. If you have any of your own, please leave a comment. If you enjoyed this video, consider hitting like and subscribe. And until next match, have a great night.